Here is the quick card which I have put. I have just cut it out. I have not yet stuck something inside. I cut the background from this, that is the card itself, from this shape. I didn't want it to complete my focus here, so I used that. And then I used this particular, I like the tree shape. I think this is from VR Memory Keepers, I don't know. I just pick whichever, uh, I go through the papers and pick whichever I like. So I cut this actual shape from this pattern paper. Then I use this brown paper, this particular pattern paper, to cut the background and then a cream color cardstock for me to put the deer on. Then I just inked it a bit. I used Q-tips and used this Dewdrops Cosmic Copper and Platinum Planet. And how I did that was I just took a Q-tip and first put the platinum, which is a light silver color, I just put that ink and then I painted it with uh, Cosmic Copper and then I stickled everything over. Uh, the reason I did this way is either you can do this or you can use a, your Copic marker if you have the correct color and use a colorless blender to just hold it on a spot and it will create a spot for you. And I did not emboss it directly because I wanted that sort of the spot for uh, the ink to bleed a little bit into each other. So I used this I felt inking or painting or Copic marker, that would be the best way to go so that it has a soft blend in places. And then for it to pop up a little bit more, I just added some stickles. And another thing which I did was for the background. See, though I didn't want it to compete with this, let me zoom in. If you see the paper up close and bringing it near the camera you'll see that there is a texture here I just had some paper I think I got this when I was doing Chinese painting so this is a rice paper you can use a rice paper you can use your Viva tissue Viva is one which has fibers in it so and it is like your bounty but without all the quilling so it, I we use that a lot for painting uh, to mop up some clouds or something because it absorbs and for cleanup it doesn't leave any fiber behind and it doesn't leave a texture behind also. So you can use even your vellum, anything to get give a bit of extra texture. What, and you can even use your mulberry paper and I used this paper. What I did was I just took my watercolor brush. Sometimes in scrapping it's better when you're in a scrap room and you don't want water to fall all over. It's better you have a brush like this because it's, it's quite easy. So what I do is I take my paint, any paint, just dip a little water on it and then just paint it. So and another trick is in watercolor, just don't use just one color. So if you want a brown, just use surrounding colors to give you a variety in a thing. It makes the painting a little bit interesting. So I used brown and red and then maybe a little bit of blue to darken it in some places and I painted some colors and this is so easy. If I want to get rid of the paint, I just go to another place and keep painting and just press a uh, squeezing a little bit on this and I can get the paint out. See? I can get the paint out. So what I did was did the same thing. I used a couple of colors and I made these two. A brown and a green. So in the green I used darker green, a little bit of blue, a little bit of yellow. I just tore the paper, just tear it. After painting, when you tear it, you have a little bit of white left. So what I did was took the paper and beforehand I colored it in the browns here because if it's too light and painting will be watercolor painting or anything will be a little bit on the light side so I didn't want it to show through because this was green so I just painted that with a you can use a sharpie copic or whatever uh, color pen you have and then tear this paper a little bit thin and use your glue 
and stick that so that will give you a little bit texture after doing that I after it dried I just went a little bit over with tickles because I like glitter and then even here too then I pasted some rhinestones around because I like bling and then I just popped up this with the flower and I stickled this too so I have directly pasted this onto the background layer without any pop tart but this one the deer and the squirrel I did use pop tart to uh, get it a little up because I wanted the uh, the trees when I paste the when I tear and paste it will come out of your background as it is so I didn't want it too much in the front because I wanted the deers to be up front and I didn't want it too thick because I needed it to go inside an envelope and of course in the end, I just added some ribbons and flowers. And on the inside, I've just made a frame and the word thanks. And I'll just put that, stickled it a bit and gave the deer some color. And then I'm just going to paste that. So that will be for the inside. Now, as I mentioned, the envelope, I just cut that. And if you see this, it is a bit short, not completely close. So what I did was cut two or three inches of the same paper which I used for the card, the base of the card, same paper, so that that way it will everything will match up. And I used this Martha Stewart, I think this was called the Arch Punch, which I found in Walmart when I went to check out the light cartridges and I liked it. I think I selected this card mainly for that. I just punched the edge here, centered it, I marked the center and went punching from this end, went punching from that end and then I just, there was a bit left over so I just cut it and since it's an arch you will get that rounded look. So now all I did was just paste this red tape glue tape now once i put this together like this doesn't that look cute and i have stickled uh, whatever flower i think it's prima i don't know what flower that is i'm just going to put that i, I stickle that a bit to give me the glimmer i tried using the glimmer mist i did use the glimmer mist but it wasn't glimmery enough for me because the card inside is real shiny and so is the ribbon so I put some stickles on it, stuck a rhinestone and this will be the envelope to go for this card. So that's cute, isn't it? So that's my project today for Sassy Ladies blog. Hope you enjoyed watching this. Thank you for watching.